couldn't help but pull over because there's another little great lesson in rainwater harvesting and how roads are constructed. So you can see we are on a road right here and above me is this slope um, and there's definitely been overland flow coming over this slope as well. And one of the telltale signs if you've got a good road or not is that the road should actually be invisible to the water or to rain. And so what you can see is happening here is we've got this diversion ditch on the side of the road and the water is getting pushed all the way around this road and getting concentrated, um, which means that this road is actually acting as a dehydration element for the forest down slope. So in order for a road to be invisible to the rain, you have to have multiple culvert crossings which take the, road, the water from the up, uh, the, the top portion of the road to the bottom portion of the road and then once you take it to the other side you actually have to do something uh, productive with that water so that it doesn't create erosion. So in, a, in actual fact this road is actually causing uh, a dehydration um, vector on the forest down below here.